We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly. You're stuck. It's a situation. Your, um, your, your fear, fright and flight kind of gets activated because you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can get out of this. And then somebody's helping you and they get excited and you're excited and it kind of helps intensify maybe um, the excitement that the two of you are feeling. So I understand that. Um, but it, it's just, I don't know. So it's it, actually the it's, opposite then because there is a lot more interaction because they're trying to help you get out of your sex situation yeah, yeah. and then they can't. And then they're like, oh, well, yeah. while we're here, <laughs> what's the, what's the weirdest stuck scene you've ever filmed? The weirdest stuck scene we did, I got stuck in almost everything. I've been stuck in almost everything. And we were running out of places for me to get stuck. So we came up um, with this little bit and we kind of done some of this in the early years where we had these nanobots that got um, consumed by somebody and they would do a mind control thing in our videos. And then you couldn't do any mind control or hypnosis. So I'm like, why can't we do stuck where I literally get stuck to something with glue? So we made MILF glue and it was just, it's just glue, but I would put the MILF glue on my hands and my stepson or even my husband would say, Hey, I'm coming up with this new, um, this new stuff and it'll make you horny, but there's a side effect and we would use it. And then like my hands would just get stuck to the wall or stuck to a desk or stuck to my own body where I was like, my hands were on my knees and I couldn't move them. And then the orgasm is what makes it unstuck. A hot wife is, a, it has to do with a married couple, husband and a wife. Um, and the husband encourages and um, really wants her to go out and have naughty fun with, you know, other people, girls, guys do, you know, naughty dares and just kind of be as uh, sexually promiscuous as possible. Um, all while having, you know, consent from him, my husband, uh, we keep in, you know, very good communication. There is a cuck holding situation or a stag situation, which is the guy's part. Um, my husband is a stag. He's on a cuck hold. So the cuck hold part is the more uh, kind of demeaning, kind of holding it from him to turn him on. Some guys really like that um, for me to go out or for the hot wife to go out and have sex with someone and not tell them until like they're just gonna you know burst you mm -hmm. know often um, making them watch the scene exactly like, yeah and and kind of holding it like against them or uh more of the demeaning part the stag which is my husband um he is he just loves to hear about it so i'll go off and do my my you know naughty sex driven you know wild fantasy thing and then whenever i go back i call it coming home some call it like reclaiming him and i have the most passionate wild sex after because we'll watch a video of what I've done or we'll talk about what I've done and it really turns him on and um, he likes like the edging experience so the whole time I'm gone he's like it's in his head and he's just fantasizing about you know what could be happening and then whenever I get home it's you know the the coming home part is like the reclaiming the uh the wife mm -hmm. so that's what a hot wife is the first thing that comes to mind I don't know why it's the first thing but like puppy play I, I love puppy play, like train me like I'm a puppy and put me in a dog crate. And it's, I, what is it for me? I love positive reinforcement and I appreciate when <laughs> doesn't everybody. <laughs> and I love, yeah, but that's such like a, a, a one, an unexpected example of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yes, but you get that negative energy and you get that I'm going to tell you what to do 
you're going to do as I say, or you're going to be punished. But when you do a good thing, it's like, oh my God, you're so good. And there's something that feels so good about validation and positive reinforcement. So I think a lot of BDSM stuff comes down to, comes down to, to that. Like what, um, I want to say, what do you need inside? It's, you know what? I'm going to stop there. It is a, it's a, what you need inside. Like sometimes I want to be trained like a puppy and told that I'm doing a really good job and maybe like treated poorly if I am disobedient. But that also goes for, um, I'm a huge masochist and I enjoy it when people beat the, beat the shit out of me consensually and when I'm in the mood for it. But sometimes that is what I need. Sometimes I don't need positive reinforcement. I don't need to be told how good I am. Sometimes I want to, I want to feel physical pain. And that is a huge release for me in a lot of ways. So BDSM kind of, um, it gives you this safe space where you can talk to the, the deepest parts of yourself and give that part of you what you need. Cause like, I'm not going to go to the, I'm not going to go to the grocery store, hang up on myself and like get that positive reinforcement that I need or like feel physical pain or being deprived of senses or deprived of attention. Like that's something that is, is, deeply needed and can only be given and found in a safe space like a kink space my first like really bestseller video um which is called practice makes pregnant um it was an impregnation fetish video that was a custom video and it sold like ridiculously well and it's still like one of my bestsellers um on many vids specifically and that role um that the the custom buyer like wanted from me was to be in a more like dominant role but not necessarily something that is um not like what you typically think when you think like a dominant woman in porn would be um it's more like a kind of like a sexy um the like i mean the the story from the custom video is that i am the like best friend of the girlfriend of the POV character and I am seducing him into fucking me and giving me a baby. (laughs) So from that kind of perspective um, and the way I like acted it and the way I kind of got into the script, it was dominant in a way that I wasn't really used to like experiencing outwardly. Um, A lot of yeah, domination style is like, oh, like, you know, you're whipping, you're spanking, you're like choking people and holding them down. But this is something more like subtle and verbal about that, that made me be like, oh, wait a second. I actually am kind of dominant because I really didn't think I was before. And something about that. And then we ended up end up doing like a, a series of the same like character um, and same types of storylines that kind of unlocked something in me that was like, okay, like domination doesn't have to just be this like super aggressive thing. Uh, for me, it's like, my style of domination is very, it's condescending, it's nurturing. um, And it's like, like a slightly evil, but in a like cheeky way. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What do you think it, I mean, so I know like the impregnation fetish or like the breeding fetish, which is also known as, is like so popular. Why do you think that is? Oh, I mean, (laughs) there's a, like, the idea of fucking raw, I think, is just hot to everybody in general. So I think it kind of like gets people in initially. But then there's something about like, like it's something so physical, like the idea of like giving someone a baby and like being like, here, there's physical evidence of like sex happening here. And like almost like, I think some body ownership stuff as well. I think that kind of intermingles with each other. And with the series that I did, it was also like a home wrecking, ser- like cheating series too. So that together kind of like created this like just very taboo topic. And I think that's what you know, people love taboo stuff. So they uh, they love seeing that. And I think also with um, like, you know, the, the times in life right now of, um, you know, it's people don't want to get pregnant, but some people are forced to in certain areas. Like I think oddly enough, that ties into, you know, the, the more taboo aspect of like pregnancy. 
We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly.